Hi, answer this question. Is light a wave or a particle? If you got the first one, that's wrong. If you got the second one, that's also wrong. Light is a wave and a particle. And here's why. The concept that explains this is called wave-particle duality. It explains why subatomic and elementary particles behave both like waves and also like particles. Now, what are waves and particles? So this stone is made of particles. It only has one place in the whole universe. You can't find it anywhere else. And this is a wave. You can find it over here, over here, here, and also here. You can find it in multiple places at the same time. Okay, now let's get back to the topic. We can show an object having wave-particle duality by using the very famous and simple double slit experiment. This type of experiment involves shooting particles and waves at a wall with two slits. Then a pattern is created at the wall behind it. As you can see, the patterns are very different to each other. Let's see an example. If we throw stones randomly onto the wall with two slits, we would expect to see two columns created where the stones hit the back wall. However, if we throw electrons, we would get a whole new pattern for some reason. So why does this happen? To explain this, we can get a double slit experiment with light or the ripples on water, which are both waves. Then we would see a pattern like these. This is called wave behavior. If electrons create patterns like these, they're also considered as waves. So over here we have an electron's behavior in the double slit experiment. It splits up into two, goes through both of the slits behaving like a wave. Then it goes on to creating the pattern. So this shows wave-particle duality because electrons, being particles, create patterns that are similar to patterns created by waves. But how do these patterns form? In quantum physics, these patterns are called interference patterns. They are created from constructive and destructive interference. Constructive interference occurs when the crests of two waves meet, or when the troughs of two waves meet. The result is that the amplitudes add up to create a new wave. Destructive interference occurs when the crest of a wave meets the trough of another wave. The result is that the amplitudes subtract off each other to create a new wave. Over here you can see that the pattern is created by the constructive interference shown in the blue lines, where the waves overlap each other. And destructive interference occurs everywhere else. However, there is a problem. If we add an observer to the experiment, the interference pattern created will change into an ordinary pattern, similar to the one created by the stones. Scientists don't quite understand why this happens, but what I can tell you is that this is called the wave function collapse. Very simply, it's there because of an interaction with an external world. So for example, light. When we try to observe it, we get particle behavior because of the wave function collapse. But when we don't try to observe it, we get wave behavior. But electrons aren't really waves or particles. There's something known as quantum objects. But I'll leave that for you to find out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.